<gülüyor> Yürü yürü. Yanma çıktın lan. Still a, a decent gain. Keep it in mind, the automatic it has less power gain due to the uh, um, yeah the dry chain loss. Um, it just takes out a little more, but then still about 30, like from 183 to one a uh, 214. That's like a 31 horsepower on this dyno. So it's gonna be about 35, 36 on the dyno jet. Um, torque is looks like the peak is a little less. It's only like 20, but if this is only taken here and the top. So under the curve is a lot more. Um, like um, like uh, 254 to um, what? 216. So that's uh, about like 38 or about 40. Um, which is going to be about 45 or a little more on the dyno jet. So that's pretty much what we advertise for the auto automatic guys. Um, and then start just adding a little more boost and the timing. And I was talking about that little rich condition at the top. Um, I mean, from 47, so it basically it leaned out slightly, but the top is still a little rich on the safer side, uh, but it's still making power. It's not yeah. like it's making, where it gets a little more impressive. It's uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but that you you can already see the power difference. Is that the other one? Yeah, that was your yeah uh, before. So before, let's say on your uh, second gear, two ten used to be like one sixty three. So that's close to fifty horsepower. Wow. And over here is like eighty, like eighty. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be faster, but um, the top speed I was talking about, the power difference, mm. is a uh, big big time. Like uh, remember the uh, it was like eighty eight. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, ninety nine. That's um, you p you picked up another ten or eleven miles per an hour, that, which is actually a lot big deal for the uh, drag racing guys. Like adding another one two is like crazy. So, I mean the time sh got shortened, but again this time don't worry about that one because. Usually it's not so accurate, but this is actually pretty accurate. So definitely something you'll feel. Um, and next thing you want to do is go for a test drive and make sure everything's okay and you feel the power. But if you make 10, 15 horsepower on this dyno, you feel like feel like crazy. How was it? It's great. Yeah? It's fast. It was quick? Yeah, definitely quick. You feel that 50, 60 horsepower? 100%. <laughs> it's much better. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Yeah, thanks for coming, man. No problem. All right, you'll be on my uh, next blog. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys wanna just say hi? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, I don't have a lot of viewers, but Monday action. Aaron's working hard again.
putting the harness in. Bunch of harnesses just laying around here. This is the one that we initially had and don't need it. We have to order a brand new one from Korea that matches the the older 2010 to 12 harness. So this is where we are at. And this this was the main thing that we were missing. So I'm gonna take care of all the orders, possibly start working on some of the battery location kit. <clears throat> um, more piping fabrication and um, the oil cooler and stuff like that tomorrow. I'll go get, get him some coffee. response and also the uh, like I said I play with the torque management yeah. so before let's say like first to second it kind of hesitates and go now it's just pretty much like it kicks off right yeah, just, yeah I can feel it like I said like I said I feel it you just just want to go, <laughs> <laughs> go you know? so I feel yeah good to hear man good to hear yeah thank you thank you and thank um, you. we could again we could do more once you like, get a foreign polish and stuff like that that's probably the most you could do um, yeah. with this car and the headers, they all gain a little bit, but, you know. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the investment versus the gain. And we see, like, right, at the, in, in Texas, Texas the event, actually lost low end torque and power really? with the headers, yes. And uh, just the top end, it made like another four horsepower or something. Yeah, it's nothing worth a thousand dollars for, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. It's Shell for the dashboard um, is back in there. Uh, we weren't sure about some of the wiring, so we haven't put the dashboard yet. Tomorrow, I'm gonna start working on some of the stuff for the for Sandy. Today, I was just tied up with um, the tuning stuff and um, a lot bunch of stuff to ship out. So basically, I just have a few things to get it out tomorrow. I'm staying at the shop right now, um, just finishing off with the all the online stuff. And um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll start this week, but um, we're just missing still a few parts, and uh, the Korean office is taking care of it. Just wanted to kind of film it so we could have some updates, but um, it's going to be a long weekend as well, so I'll be going away. Uh, I'll be going upstate New York just to uh, visit my brother-in-law and stuff. Woo! <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that's where we stand on Tuesday, and um, you're going to see some updates uh, by the end of this week, I'm hoping, and uh, hopefully next week, by next week, we're going to be able to slide this thing around. Alright guys, so this week's unboxing video, I'm going to unbox this one, it's already opened and stuff, um, so this way... Eric can work on this one. Basically, we have to order this uh, for our turbo setup on Sandy. Basically, some. Let's see. Oh, Aaron took it, dumbass. So here are the um, the O2 bumps from Vibrant, and this is um, 304 SUS 
stainless steel. So it's going to be very nice once it welded together. Uh, we had to order this because when Cody came by last week, um, um, it's too late, fucker. Cody came by last week. Um, I had to chop one of the O2 bungs we had and uh, didn't really come out good because the material itself was uh, not the stainless steel. So I had to order some of these just to stack them at the shop and also I had to weld another bunk for Sandy soon. So that's what we're doing. And this is for the Turbo 2 Manifold V-Band clamp from Vibrate Performance. And this is to the O2 housing, the hot side turbo. Next one we have here is another box from Tom 14. And this is also from Sandy. We can go with fancy electronic boost controller, but we went ahead and use Hallman manual boost controller. Um, it's proven to work pretty nice. Um, and we've used many times and it doesn't really give any issues compared to some of the manual boost controls we we used in the past just didn't want to like you would like raise the boost out of nowhere just one increment and sometimes it doesn't do anything but this Holman boost controller is actually proven to work uh, many times only complaint I would say is doesn't have the those ball bearings that has a click so you could actually turn itself so what we usually do is, once we're said and done, we tape it so it doesn't turn itself. Because that, that we've seen that before. And it could up the boost and you could blow up your engine and stuff, right? So I just had to match this color for Sandy. And that's just going to be temporary. Once we uh, make sure that the turbo could make the boost, because that initially had some issues with previous owner, uh, then we're going to go with the fancy route uh, with the uh, electronic boost controller. Next one we have here is another... Next one we have here is another vibrant uh, Vengen fitting. This is very nice stuff you could use if you're... In, if you could fabricate your stuff or have the the shop to do it. Um, comes out very nice and nice finish you know um, just regular silicone hoses they tend to just pop off sometimes the clamps don't really tie up the, um, the the pipings together that um, you could actually leak the boost and stuff. Um, this ha has a, a lot more flexibility I would say in between and it gives a, a, a lot better finish. Uh, it just needs uh, the welding together, so we're gonna actually put that on the throttle body side and uh, finish off with this clamp, and uh, that's what I'll do today. And this is three inch. The factory throttle body is about 2.85, so it was a little weird size, but I'm gonna actually make it to uh, work with three inch piping. So this is a good example of uh, how. This van gen fitting works. It has a good flexibility and uh, it's pretty flexible. And uh, it doesn't look like it once it's all clamped down, but um, all the vibration will have all this. Hmm? It'll seal it very good too. And it will seal it very good too. It's got a little O rings. Is that an O ring? Mm -hmm. O rings in between these, and this clamps down and has a little. Lock, <laughs> little locking key that's that's missing um, somewhere. Yeah, so we'll, we'll look something like this. It's bling bling factor. Bling factor. Yeah, here is from our good friend down in Puerto Rico, Predator Performance, and um, there are many cheap products in the market that doesn't really work um, but um, this is what we order from them so this is basically the uh, the catch can 
um, that will mount, mount on the, um, the stock mount location in front of the engine and it, will it comes with a little dipstick where you can see how much oil it's been collecting as an oil catch can. Um, very nice uh, product here. Um, nice welding, nice finish. Doesn't come in chrome. Like uh, some people are just crazy. All right, so came in. Uh, basically, Aaron put the, the dashboard together already when they got to the shop. Um, I really didn't like the finish of the uh, the welds here, so I pretty much grinded it up and made it a little nice and shiny. Uh, just between us, on the bottom, there's still welds on it. I just wanted to hide some of the welds here and make it a little nice and flush, uh, clean, because there were just too many welds here and there, so just basically just grind it off. It looks nice and clean. Uh, what I'm working on right now is um, put in another Vanjo fitting on the uh, stock throttle body. So this is going to be a little tough, because um, the throttle body size is a little weird. That, um, and I didn't want to lose all the air just going in with the uh, little gap. So I'm basically welding inside around. I don't want to melt none of these materials, so it's kind of tough. But at the end, it's going to be nice and clean, and I'll be clamped down to a vanjin fitting. So this is where I'm at right now, just welding inside. I mean, it's not the prettiest welds because I was uh, more concerned about filling up the gap. And with the uh, filler rods so it's it fills up and I could kind of grind it up make it nice and shave uh, I can pour and polish it later so it came out okay again I'm more worried about filling up the gap because I'm gonna be polishing it pour and polish <laughs> while well, Aaron's doing something Let's see what he does. Pretty much nothing. Same thing over and over. <laughs> so, a little bit of bling factor. Three inch piping, vibrant Van Jane fitting. Basically doing some tech welding right now, just to uh, get this pipe on the full side. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's legal over there. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. It's legal. I mean, because you're, you're, you're in a, you know, well, I don't know about Puerto Rico, I don't know if in Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Because Puerto Rico is still considered. Oh, US territory, yes, yeah, yes. You know I mean? So it's so the same law pretty much, yeah? Yeah. But, but the, during the public, that shit's legal. I've got a question If you'd hear me out, out In your defense you never had a chance And so tell me straight, I won't go This is our time now I'm sure Make no mistake that we are closer than we're far Embrace for impact And fight your fears fire Embrace for impact I'm a future's engineer And baby I'm here I'm here So the whole day I couldn't really feel much, but 
basically this is um, the aftermath. You know, pretty dirty out here. A lot of chopping, grinding, sanding, <clears throat> cutting, welding. So basically right now it's all just kind of pie cut, uh, tacked here and there. <clears throat> just that um, the, the, the routing before was under, it was like 90 degree and I really didn't like, like it. And um, to be honest, that Mishimoto intercooler core, I mean, I already had this uh, trash stone in the code that supports 500 horsepower just sitting here. I was going to initially go with the V-mount setup and eventually I'll go with it. So right now I'm just going to use this one. I mean, bigger core, shinier, um, nicer all around. So I'm just using this one. And then <clears throat> I guess the, um, the advantage of this setup is shorter piping, better response. I would say and also we have more rooms on each side um, I really didn't want to lose the factory fog lights with those uh, LED um, stuff and uh, that those are very nice so we're gonna actually try to put the all the um, cooling systems uh, power steering cooler and the oil cooler right behind the uh, the fog lights gives us a lot more space to play with so basically that's how it's gonna set up um, we try to actually crack the car, um, not really start it up because um, nothing's actually really bolted down yet. Um, but just to prime the oil, lube it in internally, loop the turbo and everything. But um, for some reason, it doesn't start. It doesn't crank. So we're thinking maybe something's shorted. So some of the uh, welds came out pretty nice. Um, it's a little dirty and uh, scratched up because I was using the ones that were just off the shelf. And uh, eventually we're going to polish and kind of chrome it out. You can't really see in the picture, but there are a lot of scratches just from the... Uh, some of these going to be polished and very nicely uh, he said done. negative 20 is illegal. Huh? He said negative 20... Uh, Fahrenheit? Yeah, it's illegal. Why is it illegal? The Honda Fix 101. <laughs> that lecture tape. <laughs> yeah, always bring some of these tapes around with you. Fucking Hondas. <laughs> with Taylor Swift in the background, that's how you do it. Because that's how gay Hondas are. Aaron just admitted. Yeah, it's, it's not uh, my radio playing this music. This is actually Aaron's Honda playing. Taylor Swift. What's the truck, sir? Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. So I just got to my brother-in-law's place in Seneca Falls, NY, New York. This is another. This this is my brother-in-law's car. Another piece of crap Honda that has some just scoop ports. If you recognize these wheels, the 18 OEM wheels from Jess Scoop. Looks pretty good actually. It's pretty flush and everything. He he rocks the uh, SFR logo. I'm wishing him to actually take it off one day. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm kidding. That's um, Hyundai on Honda. Yep. He's the one that actually um, helped me a lot to build my current place. Wow. Say what's up, man. Say what's up. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so this is real Korean bulgogi. The last vlog we did it with the Costco beef. It was just too, too thick. But usually, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to have a thin slice, bulgogi sauce, uh, some onions, you know, green onions, stuff like that. To add sometimes shrimp and um, yeah, I'm just having a hard time with this uh, limited um, heat and well, I'm gonna make it to work 
when it's said and done, will look something like this. Yep. All right, looking good now. A lot better. All right, round two. It's called tejigogi. Tejigogi. It's a hot sauce, pork, sliced beef, mushroom. Yeah, spicy. Ali, oh, come on. <laughs> this is so stupid. More water! I need more water! Uh, I was so hot waiting in the line, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna waste your three hours here. Right? Alright, so getting some wine tasting. Sit down, eat. Chocolate wine. And oh, cruciate one. Okay, but some cool care. Chocolate, my favorite. Wine chocolates. Subscribe.